Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about four characters in this video, and these four characters are Kevin Durant, Offset, Dionne Warwick, and Asian Dawn. As you guys can see from this photo, they look exactly like each other. Same characters, different font, infiltrating in different industries, different eras, and different gender, but the gender don't matter because they are always both genders at the end of the day. Very much inverted. This is one of the most obvious group of characters. On April 26, the Offset character tweeted that he hates you with all his heart. A while back, I did a video on Slicky Hana. She had a similar post like this, but on Instagram, and it was her caption. And her caption was basically implying how much she hates her fans. And a lot of them hate their fans, and they admit it in plain sight. They hate people who blindly follow them. They hate pretty much everyone, but especially those that don't see past the surface. So they constantly mock those individuals. And of course, this was posted at 7.38 p.m. We know that murder in Gematria equals 38. This character is obviously scripted with death. On May 25th, the Offset character revealed that he wasn't related to Quavo or Takeoff. Now, this is what you call cognitive dissonance. And I'm going to show you guys articles that came out in 2022 and previous years that revealed that they were cousins and even went into detail with how they are related. And now they come out in 2023 and they say that they're not related. This is to put people in cognitive dissonance. If you're confused, you cannot operate right. And they love having people always confused. So here's an article from 2021. I highlighted it. It says Quavo is Takeoff's uncle and Offset is his first cousin. So we see the details. They're even saying how they're connected. There's even more articles that go even more in depth showing how they're related and then we see in 2022 we're even referring to the offset character as his cousin so anytime offset did anything after the takeoff character died the headings on these articles would state that his cousin offset is doing something for him or like this says paying tribute to his cousin you know so they would constantly do that stuff and here is another article from 2000 22. So it says that the rap trio began in 2008 when Quavo formed the group with his nephew Takeoff and his cousin Offset. So it's in plain sight. And recently, Offset had got a tattoo of the Takeoff Death Faker on his back, a huge tattoo of the character. And we see that even in this caption, he has a dove as the third emoji. They like doing things in threes. And that's the third emoji, the dove. And on the Culture 2 album cover, there just whole happens to be two doves. And the two doves are ironically over Offset and Takeoff, but not on Quavo. I do not think that the Quavo character is going to be a death faker. I, I talked about this a year ago in the Patreon video before the Takeoff character even died. I talked about how they're going to kill off Offset and Takeoff. It's in their name, Takeoff offset it's in their name quavo doesn't have a stage name like them on purpose and that's why this album cover is like that it's purposely done i'm going to show you guys what dove symbolizes doves are associated with death and here are some connections that i found so first the Aaliyah character Aaliyah, who was a 2001 death faker 2001 which is 201 the jesuit order equals 201 in gematria has a tattoo of a dove on her lower back they also released doves at her funeral, okay? So we see that doves are heavily associated with death fakers. And then next, the Prince character, who is a 2016 death faker, has a song from 1984, 84, which is 48 reverse, matches to homicide and masonry in Gematria. He has a song called When the Doves Cry. It's not a coincidence that he passes away. The Migos Bad and Bougie music video shown doves flying. So if you watch that music video, you will see there's a scene where they have Ruby Rose and some other filler people walking and there's doves being released. And I think there was multiple times in that music video where doves were being released. And right then and there, that's when I knew someone's going to be a death faker in this it makes sense that they would take him off but after that music video was put out there was a huge deal over the fact that takeoff was left off of bad and bougie and that was all purposely done it's all like weirdly encoded so moving on culture 2 album cover even has two doves ironically one is over 
take off and the other one is over offset and take off is a 2022 death faker and offset is a future death faker so right here i wrote dubs are and right here i wrote dubs are symbolic to death considering that some of the widely known death fakers are connected to doves whether it's a tattoo or a song or just symbolism in photos or videos on the topic of death fakers it is not a coincidence that offsets other character asian doll is associated with death fakers also she's always surrounded around death fakers which i'll show you more later into this video but she did it king vaughn and then king vaughn dies so that's a huge link between these two characters another connection between these characters is this low vibrational nasty agenda that they push out on the masses so we see that offset and cardi b are kissing and Cardi B's side profile looks like a guy that's just in plain sight. And right here we see the same way that their kissing is similar to how the Asian doll and King Von character are kissing. And this is just like gross. And this character is very flamboyant. And that's because their genders are mixed. They are inverts or just both genders basically. When they create these characters, they put two genders in them, literally. And that's why some, that's why most who are spiritually blind just see them as a gender that they are saying that they are. So some people just see Offset directly as a guy, but people that could kind of see things or people that fully see things, they can clearly see the other gender in them. They could clearly see the feminine look in them. And this right here is just showing in plain sight and you know people could do damage control said oh he's paying homage to rick flair but this is flamboyant and it's flamboyant when rick flair did it too so same thing you know very flamboyant character and this whole flamboyantness is a connection between his other characters so we see that the dion warwick character supports pride and then the offset character had these tweets that came out a long time ago that was basically admitting that the character is gay and of course, after some time went by, they said that he got hacked. Of course, people that are unconsciously living just agreed that he got hacked and they just moved past it and act like this character is not flamboyant. He's a very flamboyant character. We see right here, this is like a family photo they took. And this looked like they have two moms. Offset looks like a mom. And here we go, we see that the Asian doll character pushes the same agenda that the Offset character and Dionne Warwick character is pushing. In plain sight and then the butterfly in the background is the 33 which connects to the 33 vertebrae all this symbolism is connected to us and they use it to in my opinion gain our attention and to trigger us in a certain type of way it's all symbolism that is connected to us here's subliminals put in plain sight they love to pervert something natural something sacred so of course he has sex all over his jeans. And then right here, we see that the character is wearing a purse and has a mask over the entire face. And here's a closer photo of that. This character does this quite frequently, wearing the mask covering. And recently me and Conscious X were thinking and we connected it to, to the masked man in Naruto. The mask covering that they wear is mocking the mask's spiritual blindness and is showing how we cannot see their true form. And I talked about this in my Hailey Beaver video. They all do this for some reason where they wear stuff like this over their entire face. We don't really know their true form. And it's also mocking those who are spiritually blind that can't see them for what they are. And here's a different type of mask covering that they do, which is the ski mask thing. We see that the eye part is revealed, but the mouth is not. And right here, the covering of the mouth the Asian doll character did it also, and this is Ball of Silence withholding information from the masses, and right here again. And then she has the green eyes. In previous videos, I've connected the green eyes to the green-eyed monster, Envy. And then they love to do these edits, weird edits, and right here, this guy is covering his face when she does this, and this is like them showing that you really can't see her true form. We see right here she has the angel wings. They're trying to pretend like they're angelic, yet they're not. And then right here, he has an angel tattooed on the face. And he even posted Tupac 
and Tupac has a shirt that has the angel wings on it. And this is complete damage control because on October 13th, Conscious X made a video on Tupac being Quavo, and Quavo is a part of a group with Offset, and of course, Offset did the damage control by posting the Tupac character right after the video. Not even that far apart, just like right after. And then Kevin Durant, his 2015 KD7s had the angel wing strap on the shoe. And he even has an angel tatted on him. Also has the idol Jesus tatted on him. They love to flex the idol. Dion Warwick has a song called Somebody's Angel. And Dion Warwick even has an album called Why We Sing. And on the back, there's an angel. In plain sight, they're admitting that they're fallen angels or some sort. And back to the idol, we see that the Offset character is also flexing the idol. They love flexing the Jesus character. And then right here, Offset is pushing a massive agenda. This was a while back when I screenshotted this, but it said splitting fries with Cardi B. And this looked like a CGI'd image. They do not look real. They look fake to me. All of the characters that they ever made look fake. They don't look like a real human. And I know people could do damage control and say, oh, the photo just edited, but that's, it's deeper than that. So they're trying to glamorize eating McDonald's and making it look fancy. If you want to eat McDonald's, that's on you. But that stuff is disgusting and it's degrading to yourself to eat something like this. And it's a reason why they promote this stuff so much. It keeps you at a low vibration. And the meat there is not even real meat. The fish fillet and the fries taste like couch cushions. It doesn't taste like authentic food. It's really nasty. But hey, if you want to eat that, you can eat that. But that's just my opinion. It's not good for you. And it's just very low. And then we see Offset and Cardi B. And Cardi B's holding the phone and she's doing the horns in plain sight. They do the symbolism in plain sight. The horns are connected to the cerebellum. And then right here, the guy that he's with is doing the horns. More symbolism, doing one-eye symbolism, mocking that people can't see the full picture. Also showing how they play both sides of the fence, how they reveal something, but hide something from the masses. And then we see that the Asian doll character and the King Vaughn character is also doing one-eye symbolism. She's doing one-eye symbolism again, and she's with another death faker, PNB Rocks. So we see that this Asian doll character is really associated with death fakers. So she dated King Vaughn, King Vaughn died. And then she's with PNB Rock, PNB Rock dies. And she has a one-eye symbolism going on, like I told you guys. And look at this. Trap, it's in plain sight. So they're a part of trap music, right? Trap, it's in plain sight. They're trapping you. They're trapping your consciousness. Right here, doing one-eye symbolism. Again, they do it all the time. This is unnecessary, but they're doing it. Everything's scripted out for them to do this. Mocking tongue, mocking that you don't know this stuff. And doing a one-eye symbolism. The middle finger, which is flicking you off, saying F you. They love doing that also. They look like men in drag. That's something I've noticed about all female celebrities, is that they look like little boys in drag. And that's because they're artificially made. And the tongue's out, mocking. Again, the tongue is out. And then right here, this character has the tongue out. So this Offset character loves to dress up as Michael Jackson. And that is because Dionne Warwick was close to Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson's also a death faker. So that's also another connection because because the Offset character is going to be a death faker. So he dresses up as Michael Jackson so much that they even made a collage of how many times he did it. So we see in the top left corner at the Little Mermaid premiere, he dressed up as Michael Jackson. At the pre-Grammy gala, he dressed up as Michael Jackson, Beyonce's birthday party, etc. He keeps doing this. In my opinion, it is showing how he's going to be a death faker. Black and white checkerboard floor, their pawns, their characters being used to push agendas. They're literally pawns. They don't exist. And of course, he's wearing a backwards. Of course, he's wearing a jacket backwards. And this is the backwards way they want individuals to live and operate, which is detrimental. Checkerboard floor again, their pawns, like I said. The Glorilla character has the checkerboard flag 
also known as the Marathon Flag, connected to the Nipsey character who was a death faker. And this Gloverla character is going to be a death faker born in 1999. She even has a tattoo on her, which is 99 or 999. And most death fakers are connected to 99 or 999. Juice World death faker connected to 999. Elvis, Queen Elizabeth, both had Gematria equaling to 99 and they were death fakers. Then we see that the Speaker Knockers character was in front of a 99 sign before he died. All death fakers are connected to 99 and this character is heavily connected to 99. And of course she's with Asian Doll and Asian Doll just so happens to be affiliated with so many death fakers near them. And right here, this is just like weird and creepy. I think these glasses are hinting towards VR, virtual reality, or AR, which is augmented reality. And then right here, this odd dressing, this weirdo style of dressing, they love promoting that. Middle finger flicking the camera off saying F us. Asian doll equals 33. She's in front of this brick wall flicking off the camera saying F us. And the brick wall connects to masonry and masonry equals 33. Asian doll equals 33. She's in front of this five and we know that connects to the five pointed star the pentagram and that connects to us if you stand in the mirror and you spread your legs and your arms you count your head your two legs and your two arms you're a five pointed star he's with the trippy character and he's basically wearing a pentagram in a heart format which makes a heart and a triangle and then right here we see the asian doll character having the stars on her pants and this stuff triggers us because it's knowledge about ourselves so of course it triggers us and that's why a lot of mindless people or people who are not consciously aware or having conscious control in their life blindly follow them right here they're standing on the sun the sun representing illumination enlightenment and we see this blue and red actually connects to the freemasonic lodges red and blue so right after a game, this is quite old, but right after a game, people were kind of creeped out how Kevin Durant was immediately in Cancun, like right after a game. And this is like teleportation in a sense, or like showing their weird powers. They're not humans. They have weird abilities and they emit this stuff in plain sight with stuff like this, you know? And then here is Asian Doll. And she was 16 and she was rapping over a Nicki Minaj song or probably freestyling it, not sure. But the fact that she's involved with Nicki Minaj and we see that Offset character has a song with Nicki Minaj. And if you guys don't know already, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj are the same. I have a video about this that I made a year ago. I have a consistent amount of videos about this. And I made another one nine months ago. They're the same, they look exactly like each other, especially right here. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between them. And here's some more side by sides of all four of these characters. Dionne Warwick, Asian Doll. Again, there's just more side by sides. And they have plenty of other characters in this, such as Tiana Taylor. She's a mixture involved in this. And there's just more characters involved in this. But these are like the main four where it's just identical. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you all. And just continue to be great and continue to do what makes you happy. And be your most authentic, realest self. Don't let anyone stop that. So thank you so much.